here. Um, today I'm going to do the test for um, Wet n Wild, the foundation that I'm hearing all kinds of different opinions upon. Um, some people love it <laughs> and some people are saying it's terrible and some people are in the middle. So um, I am a very practical kind of person and I think that if I can find something pretty much dirt cheap like this is, I think this was $6.19, it was 30% off, and I had a dollar off coupon. So um, if I can find a deal like this and it works, I'm not all about high end. You know, I'm not impressed with names or status. That kind of stuff doesn't thrill me. Um, it's the ingredients and the quality that I go for. So if I can find it for $6 versus $38 um, or up, <laughs> then I'm going for the $6 one. Just fix this camera a little bit. Okay, there we go. Um, so anyways, I figured I'm, I'm, I've got to give it a try. I, you know, I just, I can't go another couple of weeks staring at it and thinking, oh, is this the real deal? <laughs> So, um, my curiosity was getting the best of me. So anyways, I also, because everything was 30% off, I picked up their brush, which, um, geez, I can't remember now. What was this? Two, three dollars, I think, and then 30% off. So, um, I figured since I'm doing their foundation, I'll do their brush on one side. And then I am going to use a beauty sponge for the other side. I just did my nails just a little while ago and they're not, they're still tacky and I've already destroyed, yeah, I've kind of destroyed the smoothness of them already. I'm impatient. I, I can't wait. I like, I put that stuff on, I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> and then it's a mess. So, okay, so I am, this is going on a bare face, um, no powder or anything, just some moisturizer and my little beauty oil combination that I use, that I create myself. I combine a bunch of different oils, which I'll do in another video, um, in case you're curious. So, off go the glasses. Okay, so first of all, this is called Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Soft Beige. I don't even know if this is my color. I just, you know, going by my hand, face, neck in the itty bitty warpy kind of mirror that they have in Rite Aid. <laughs> That was my best determination. Okay, so, ooh, okay, I forgot, I forgot it has that. Big Whopper applicator. All right, okay, so I'm gonna put a couple drops. You know I like a sheer uh, foundation finish anyways. Um, this is light, medium, warm. Oh, warm. Mm, I'm pretty much a neutral, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, so I'm just going to start with that. I actually think I kind of put too much on right there. All right, so I'm going to take their brush. little pink. It's so cute. And it's so soft. I like it. All righty, so let's get scrubbing this in here. On first touch, it feels nice. Like, so Putting it on my face, it had a nice consistency. It wasn't too thick or too runny. I actually think the color tone is not bad. It's moving nicely. Hmm. I'm liking it. What do you think? It's actually pretty nice. It's not cakey looking. The brush is nice too. Boy, I like the brush. I use a lot of e.l.f. brushes and other brands too. I, I try a lot of different ones. It just, this one was pink and pretty and white. So it was very springy and I am definitely in the mood for spring. When it comes to finding deals, I like to, it's a thrill of the hunt for me. I love to find a bargain um, and share it. 
People are always asking me where I get my stuff, and I love to tell them, I got it on sale at such and such. I'm not crazy about this applicator thing. That, mm. Okay, this side I'm going to do with the Beauty Blender. And I did dampen it, so it is a spongy wet Beauty Blender. Well, Beauty Sponge. It's not the official Beauty Blender. So anyways, it's not about, um, like I said, it's not about the name for me. I can't afford a lot of high-end products anyways. But even if I could, I mean, why would I choose to spend, you know, $40 on something when something that is under 10 is going to do just as nice of a job? I'd rather save my money. And I just, I don't know, I just, <laughs> I love... I worked retail, I know the markup. Even if you don't work retail, you have a pretty good idea of the markup once you see stuff going on clearance. But I just, you know, I, I don't mind paying for good ingredients, but if, if the formulas aren't that different, um, I'm going for the deal, the steal. <clears throat> okay, let me just check this out here. That went on very nicely, both sides. Yeah, that one I'm really nice. I'm just going to do a dab more on each side. It is definitely a lighter coverage, which I love. So that's good news for me. Uh, probably very buildable. I don't really build it much, so I cannot attest to that. But um, the amount that I'm putting on, it's, it's covering, smoothing, Refining, making me pretty without a whole lot of uh, layers. So even if you are uh, someone that needs to build up a little bit more, it, this is settling in nicely. I'm impressed. I am so glad I tried this. I'm going to give it the full day test, you know. I can't tell if that's a little too yellow for me. Hmm. I'll have to wait until, you know, I can check the rest out with my glasses on. Um, so I, you know, this has had so much hype between whether people loved it or hated it. So um, I am definitely happy I discovered it on my own. I almost didn't because I had read, I had watched, I don't even remember who it was, but it was a really bad review of it. Um, and then I watched a really good review of it. So, you know, really, if you can test things out for yourself, it's great. It pills always, always got to flow. Um, you know, I want people to appreciate my opinion too, because I give a lot of thought and effort into them. Um, so I appreciate people's opinions, but I think what you have to remember is to keep in mind, is their skin tone and texture similar to yours? Uh, that's how you're going to get a truer read on, on what they have to say about the product. Um, I have very dry skin and I don't have a ton of um, blemishes. So I, you know, it, that's why I can't speak to the buildability because I'm, I'm not super building this up to cover darker things or, you know, um, different things that life brings to people. Um, so I have my, my nemesis is my dark circles and my pink spots here and there. But I also like a sheer, sheer to medium, you know, just something to soften my face and, and kind of just make it look refreshed, um, and smooth and bright. I love brighteners. So, and I'm very fair. So I don't have like major oily spots that could trigger anything for this to not work very well. And even though I'm dry, I don't have like dry flaky patches um, where that could catch some people too, you know, if they have different textures on their skin. So that's my point is when you're watching somebody try to base what they say, if you are um, similar to them, then that's a, you know, I would say that's a pretty good indicator of how it might work for you. So that's why I'm describing my skin to you guys is that I, you know, I have fine lines and wrinkles. Um, typical past 40. 
so I have areas that this can settle into or crease or separate you know different areas over my face so I am going to keep my eye on it all day I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on and see how it looks so I will be right back I won't torture you through <laughs> my conglomeration of goodies here that I have to now pick through, but I'll be quick. All right, I am back. I'm all done. And I'm liking it, you guys. I'm really... I don't know if you can see... I, I don't know if the color is right for me. I might need one shade lighter. My goodness, am I pale. Um, I'm trying to look at my neck versus... Um, hand I don't know maybe it is the right one I'll have to check out outside I'll go outside and look in the car mirror I have to go out anyways I have to work and um, so I am really going to be putting this to the test because I have to go I refinish furniture and I have to go do a major haul from one storage unit to another and so uh, I'll be all fancied up in my sweatshirt and sweatpants going to my storage unit to drag, throw, pull, whatever I need to to <laughs> move those precious antiques around. Um, so I'll be out in the sun. I'll be doing some heavy lifting. My job is very physical, very physically demanding. Um, so, and then I will be, you know, hanging out around the house for a while in the evening, making dinner and stuff, and then I will give a check back in. I don't like filming at night because you can't see me. It's so dark and I don't know why. I just, I turn the light on. I have a beautiful chandelier that I love, but it throws no light. So um, I might just, you know, come back on tomorrow during the day and give you my final thoughts. I don't know. We'll see. I'll see how I feel. But I wanted to wrap it up since I used that wonderful brush. And this, guys, this really worked. I mean, it's, everything is in there. It worked just as nicely as the beauty sponge. So that's either a testament to the foundation or to the tools. Um, so seriously, for $3, even if it's full price, it's $3. And uh, the, like I said, the foundation was $6.19 and then on sale and then I had the coupon. And I really like it. So far of the um, couple that I've tested, I mean, you know how I am. I love my Bare Minerals. Mm, I don't know. That, we'll see how this holds up. But this doesn't even, this is not settling into any of my little fine lines even better than the Bare Minerals, dare I say. I hate to jump all over something and rave about it and then four hours later it looks terrible. So for the half an hour that I've had it on to complete, you know, my face, um, I, even applying it, I can say it's it's a go for me. I, I like it. So I fear, figured I would wrap it up with their lipstick that I also picked up in Ready to Swoon slash Vertige? I don't know. 513C it is. So, let me just give that a little, ooh. <laughs> See, their lipstick is very creamy. To me, I think it's very creamy and colorful. Ooh, that's pretty. Ready? I am ready to swoon. I am swooning over this. Vertige? I, even with my bifocals, I still can't quite get it. I need a magnifying glass. I think that says vertige under it. Ready to swoon slash vertige. Anyways, it is 513C. And just crease out that, or blend out that crease there. All right, so I lost the cap. <laughs> Ugh. What am I going to do with myself? All right. Anyways, um, looking in the mirror from a distance. It's looking good. Looking in the mirror close up. It's looking really good. Hopefully I got it really blended in well around. 
uh, area. That's where I have most of my little pleasantries. So, okay, so I think I'm good. I think it's uh, gonna work. I'm not seeing it move or do anything funky so far. My only question is, is it a little too yellow for me? I don't know, what do you think? I'm gonna check it out in the daylight in my car mirror. But I, yeah, I'm thinking, ooh, and this. Mm-hmm, I think these are a hit. So I will let you know the day's results in just a few more hours, maybe about seven o'clock I'll check back and see how this is worn. So I'll be back, see ya. Did I or did I not just take the cap off of this to show you guys and it's gone. <laughs> it's not even on my floor where everything rolls. Oh, help me. Found it. I was looking for a black cap. <laughs> I don't know why. Had it stuck in my head, and this was laying here with a bunch of wrappers, practically invisible. I can't even use the fact that I didn't have my glasses on for an excuse because they're right on my face. All is well in Makeupville again. I am back after hmm, many, many hours of... Oh, sorry, I just took a bit of pasta. Out of um, hauling, hoisting, and oh, outright killing myself with this furniture. So um, hopefully you can see the foundation has held up beautifully in the wind. Oh my gosh, it's so windy out. Sweating, dirt and grime, and dust and antique, everything flying through the air. Um, in and out of cars and minivans and storage units and I must have done what I do five loads today um, Transporting back and forth and arranging and crawling up and through and literally my storage units are Scarily death traps because of all of the way that I have the furniture arranged to squash it all in there um, and I had to finagle, I was looking for certain pieces for people and I had to finagle and stuff chairs up on top and they were falling and so, needless to say, um, my face has been through the ringer, um, but it looks really good. The only thing I noticed is it's a little powdery down around the bottom and slightly up here. It got, it got sort of like a twinge of powdery um, ness, but I think that's nothing a setting spray couldn't, you know, I, I, I didn't set it with anything. I didn't use a primer. So, you know, testing out the Bare Raw products. So I think if I had a primer on, or if I used a setting spray, that would have prevented um, that, and it's so slight. So it still has a gorgeous finish on it. It hasn't separated. It hasn't um, like dissolved or looked patchy. None of that stuff. So, whoa, <laughs> here she be. Um, this foundation, Photo Focus from Wet n Wild, is a total hit for me. Um, maybe if you have oilier skin, it may not be, but again, you could try it with a primer and with a setting powder. I just used it in its wholesome state and I, I, yeah, that's a good one. Um, again, I'm picky, you know, I don't, I don't put my seal of approval on everything. This is one of the better ones that I've tried lately. I like this better than the Dream Velvet by, um, Maybelline and... I, let, I I mean, this is right up there with my Bare Skin Serum from Bare Minerals. So I might even, this might even pass that a little bit, like I said earlier. I'm not sure. Um, you know, I, I would have to give it a couple more tries. So, um, you know what? Six bucks. If you're looking for something, <clears throat> wait until it goes on sale, whatever. But definitely, you know, if, if you think it'll work for you, I say go for it. So anyways, I'm going to go make my dinner now because I'm starving. So I, uh, after a hefty haul of, of hours and activities, I can genuinely say this, this stuff held up. So it's like a 
coat of armor here on my face. <laughs> but it's, um, it's very soft looking still. So yay for wet and wild, man. That's, they pulled it off with that one. So anyways, I hope you get the chance to try it. If you do, let me know what you thought, what your thoughts are, um, how it worked out for you. I'd love to hear from you. So again, I like to have a conversation, not just me talking all the time. So anyways, I will see you guys next time.